If you play League of Legends, you've probably had a Fiora cram her sharp baguette up your ass. This is normal, and nothing to be ashamed of. So after having that baguette 11 inches deep a couple times, you may have asked yourself, should I play Fiora? Well, do you enjoy dealing grotesque amounts of damage, having a heal that scales with AD and blocking all incoming damage whenever you want? If you said yes to all three of these questions, you a genius. And to reiterate, she has an AoE heal, you know, that thing that typically scales with ability power, that scales with long swords. Have I mentioned that her passive is one of the best passives in the game, especially since Riot threw poppies out the window? I'll never forget you old poppy passive. You'll always be in my heart. So back to Fiora. If you hit a vital, which, spoiler alert, isn't very hard to do, you deal bonus true damage, heal yourself, still scales with AD by the way, and gain movement speed. So you can poke and run away and wait for another chance to do it again, or just decimate whoever you're dueling. And I put a lot of emphasis on dueling because this isn't a duel. This is a snuff film. Here you could see me demonstrating Fiora's advanced combos. If you can execute this, then you'll be showering yourself in gold and you'll be able to buy your whole family houses. So gameplay gets a 9 out of 10. Breaking vitals, turning fights around with your ult, and turning crowd control effects around on your opponent is insanely fun. Looks. It's a video game. It's all pixels and shit. I don't know how you weirdos could be attracted to... To... Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Overall enjoyment, 8 out of 10. Everything about Fiora is fun, and she only loses points because by playing her, that means I'm playing League of Legends. So we're just gonna have to deduct a couple points for that. So, should you play Fiora? We. Oui. You should. Do you want to know why you should subscribe? Because now I need to pick all this shit up. Awesome.